board meeting for our 2023 student of the year recognitions one of my favorite meetings as we celebrate student achievement throughout the district we are holding this meeting virtually and if someone would like to speak to an item on the agenda they would have had to submit their comments via the google form before 5 p.m today um, so our first item on the agenda is our pledge of allegiance and i will ask our superintendent dr michelle rodriguez to lead us in the pledge of allegiance dr rodriguez Yes, thank you so much. So there's a flag, everybody. Everybody stand, please. Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on to um, item 2.1. Can I have a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve our agenda tonight. All right, so I have a motion from uh, Trustee DeSerpa. Can I have a second? I second that. Was that Trustee Flores? Yes. All right, so first from uh, Trustee DeSerpa, a second from Trustee uh, Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries uh, 4-0-3. Wonderful. Um, all right, so we will move on to item 3.1, uh, public comment on agenda items 4.1 and 4.2. I don't believe, uh, we don't have uh, Vice President Acosta president. Um, president. She, she just came on. Oh, she just did. Oh, okay, great. Tiny. Yep. I was actually here on the vote on that. <laughs> okay, great. So that, then I'll so correct. That would have been uh, five. Five zero. Too. Yeah, all right. um, thank you for, for making it after all. All right. So then in that case, our Vice President uh, Georgia Costa will be reading the comments that were submitted on the Google form prior to 5 p.m. Uh, trust, uh, Vice President Acosta, do you have access to that form? Yes, I have it open. Wonderful. Do we have any public uh, comments to action item or to uh, mm -hmm. report and discussion items 4.1 and 4.2? Um, we do. We have... Um... I'm sorry, let me just look. One, we think we have three <clears throat> on 4.1 and one on 4.2. Great. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, just let me get my screen over to where I could. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, are you ready? I'm sorry. Go for it. Okay, perfect. Our first um, comment comes from Sherry. Galagayos, uh, no, uh, Georgia, that's me. I submitted uh, the comments I want to make about uh, our student of the year. So you don't have to read that. I'll, I'll, oh, okay. That. Okay. All right. No All worries. Right. Okay. We'll move on. So now we're down to two for 4.1. Um, Julie Edwards, Ju it's Julian. Julie, did you want me to read yours? Just want to make sure I'm not, I think so. Um, so this is from Julie Edwards. Um, good evening, P of e USD Board, President Hall, Vice President Acosta, and trustees. I am writing this evening to share <coughs> heartfelt and happy congratulations to the entire PBUSD community as we gather with families to celebrate our students of the year. This evening reminds us of the contributions and importance of every person who serves students and families within PBUSD. These, uh, this includes classified staff members, certificated teachers, classified and certificated management, all led by Dr. Rodriguez and her dedicated team of cabinet members, Lisa, Gary, Casey, Clappenbach, Allison, Miyazawa, and Rick Rucker. It is because of the collective commitment, resilience, and persistent, persistence of the entire PBUSD community that we have these accomplished and incredible students to celebrate this evening. Thank you for the honor to serve for and serve for with and alongside every one of you. Okay, and the next one, let me just scroll here. Um, this next one is from Peggy Pugh. <clears throat> Good evening, PBSD Board President Hall, Vice President Acosta, Trustees, and Dr. Rodriguez. Congratulations to our students of the year, their families, and PBUS staff, PBUSD staff who support these amazing students. This is a night of celebration to honor these awesome students who are thriving in PBSD. 
The accomplishment of these students collectively reflect dedicated and hard work and resilience that they have learned from their families and our academic PBUSD staff. The leadership of Dr. Rodriguez her, and her cabinet, Lisa Gary Lewis, Casey Klappenbeck, Allison Yazawa, and Clint Rucker has created a community of celebration and support for our students. Congratulations to our PBUSD students of the year. Congratulations to the Mariner of the Year, Elizabeth Garcia Velasquez. I am so proud of you, Elizabeth. Sincerely, Miss Pugh. And then our last one um, is on uh, 4.2 from Peggy Pugh as well. And that one says, congratulations to the Mariner Banner students, Jackson Miller, Mickey Russo, Hany Reyes Alcaraz, Tosh Woods, Charlotte Ramirez, Ivan Solerio Marquez, and Caitlin Murray. I am so proud of you. Sincerely, Ms. Pugh. And that is all of our public comment for this evening. Thank you. So items 4.1 and 4.2 will be presented by Alicia Jimenez, our public information officer, and Dr. Rodriguez, our superintendent of schools. Please proceed. Thank you so much, President Holm. Welcome to our students, family, staff, and, and staff who are joining us virtually via our live stream channel. We will, just so you know what's happening right now, we will be hearing welcoming remarks from Dr. Michelle Rodriguez, Board President Holm, and uh, Board Vice President Acosta, and any other board member who wishes to uh, say a few words to our honorees. So as you know, the Baharonian and McDonald's have sponsored this annual publication of our students of the year and have done it for many, many years. You can see those pages um, in our board backup items. And after we hear from Dr. Rodriguez and the board, representatives from uh, the Baharonian and McDonald's will, will also say a few words to our honorees. We will there, then hear about each one of them from each principal. The celebration also includes the introduction of the high school students who will represent their school in the student banners placed in the heart of Watsonville. After the student of the year presentation, high school principals will introduce those students with their educational journey at PVUSD. So let the celebration begin. And I'm gonna share my screen and actually we'll hear from Dr. Michelle Rodriguez now. Yeah, so tonight we have such a pleasure to honor some of, you know, of our uh, some of our incredible students, all of who have been supported, mentored, guided by their first teachers, which is their parents and family, our PVUSD family of certificated, classified, and management staff, and really the community as a whole. So when we talk about whole child, whole family, whole community. We know that all of us are there to support these students. And tonight you're going to hear descriptions of each one of these students of the year. And you're going to hear about how each one is unique, courageous, tenacious, caring, kind. It's truly inspirational to hear about them. And as a superintendent of schools, I have such pride as we talk about these students. And I also have such hope for the future not only knowing that these students are leaders of tomorrow, but they're actually also leaders of today. And so congratulations to all the students of the year. Know that we are so proud of you, and this is just the beginning of your accomplishments. So congratulations. Thank you, President Ohm. I'll keep it short and sweet, but I this this truly is one of my favorite events of the year because it is it is such an exemplar of the community coming together, you know, of the what the students have accomplished, what the community has accomplished in supporting, you know, our students to get where they are, you know, be it from, you know, ensuring that our our students are, you know, given healthy meals you know, throughout the day while they're at school, that they're given instruction so that they can be successful in their learning, that the people who are supporting them in getting those meals and getting, you know, getting those instructions are supported in their work, that parents and family members who are supporting students at home, you know, have the resources that they need to provide, you know, a, a home environment that supports learning. 
And when all of these factors come together, you know, it's, it's, it is something to celebrate. And, you know, many of our families have a variety of struggles and sometimes there's a lot that needs to be overcome and just seeing all what people can accomplish when we all work together is inspiring. And I am just so proud of everybody and what we've accomplished as a community, as the PVUSD community. And I look forward to seeing what is next and what we can build out of this. So thank you. Thank you, President Holm. Vice President Acosta, would you like to say a few words? Of course, you're going to make me follow that up. <laughs> um, President Holm said that very eloquently and, and wonderfully. So um, I just want to say congratulations to all of our students and their families and um, and a big thank you to all of our teachers and all of um, our district personnel who have helped support our students to have the success in their life at this point. And um, I just wish them all continued wonderful success. Thank you. Thank you, Vice President Acosta. Do we have any other board members who wish to say something? I would. Yeah, go ahead, Danny. Okay, I, I just wanted to say congratulations to, to all the students. Uh, you know, it's been a long, fast few months here in the Palo Valley Unified School District. But you know, congratulations, students! All those from you, all those from Aptos, Real Del Mar, uh, Coralitos, Watsonville, all the way to Las Lomas. Thank you very much. Thank you, teachers and classified workers and the principals, you know, who helped our students get here. And thank you for the bus drivers that got us, got them to school. And um, congratulations, everybody! Um, we look forward to seeing you guys. Take, thank you. Any other board members? Thank you, Trustee Dodge. Alicia, can I go? Yes, please. Thank you. Um, well, welcome everybody. I'll keep it very brief too. And um, like all of you parents out and families out there, I'm beaming with pride to honor these inspirational young people. This is going on my 13th year on the board and this is one of my favorite nights of the year. We are all one big family in the Pajaro Valley and wish you all the success and congratulations. Uh, on all your hard work this year. Students, take care. Thank you, Trustee Viserpa. Any other trustees? Uh, yes, Alicia, I would like to say just a quick congratulations to all the students that are gonna be recognized tonight. Um, I wanna thank you for being such awesome students and being those great leaders and examples for your fellow classmates. I wanna say thank you to the parents who've done an amazing job and to all the um, staff that have helped to guide each and every one of these students to um, get to where they are. And I just uh, wanted to say, I just wish them nothing but success as they finish up their journey um, here at PVUSD and afterwards. Thank you, Trustee Flores. Any other trustee? Oh, great, all right. So. Now we get to the fun part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and then principals will start talking about their honoree. So here you just see uh, our leadership. Hello, my name is Heather Bailey. I am the proud principal of Radcliffe Elementary. I am honored to announce Radcliffe Student of the Year, Isabella Espinoza Martinez. Isabella is the quintessential pleasure to have in class student. Bella radiates positivity, friendliness, and charisma. She is a true leader in our class in the classroom here at Radcliffe, rallying her classmates during lessons, activities, and general discussions. Her sense of humor, enthusiasm, and positive attitude towards school are infectious. Bella has a way about her that allows her to meet others and make a connection, a trait that will go a long way towards building community even beyond the classroom. We are honored to have such a kind, bright, and funny person at Radcliffe Elementary. And this doesn't even sum it up. She is just an amazing person and we're just so lucky to have known her since kindergarten.
Do you guys, go ahead. I'm Shari Gallegos, and I'm the proud interim principal of Mar Vista Elementary School. And I'd like to introduce you to Sienna Guzman Salina. She is a sixth grader who is dedicated and a very conscientious student. She's a, a good leader and takes initiative in recognizing the needs and tasks to complete a job. She is very creative and innovative and willing to go above and beyond the basic requirements of an assignment. She is very inclusive and thoughtful and uses her voice to, uh, as one of her strong leadership skills. She makes sure that all voices are heard. She's um, during distance learning, dur um, she uh, verbally and in the chat, she made sure to cheer everyone on in a health felt effort to keep up their spirits during that challenging time. Sienna sees things through a creative artistic lens and her curiosity, wonder, and love for learning make her a Mar star. All of us at Mar Vista are very proud of Sienna Salinas and we wish you the very best in junior high and beyond. We look forward to seeing you soar. Congratu congratulations, Sienna, for this well-deserved recognition. Good evening to our amazing PBUSD families and students. I'm Marcy Keller, principal of Diamond Technology Institute. And I'm excited to present to you our student of the year, Jesus Ramirez Fernandez. Um, during his time at Diamond Tech, Jesus has grown into a deeply involved and dedicated student toward his school community. He is truly a unique white tiger and has been an exemplary role model in student government, community service, and school projects. Jesus, as a junior, pursued his certification as a dental assistant and has been working as a dental assistant while also finishing his senior year. Jesus possesses the qualities of a responsible leader and a strength of character that has allowed him to positively support his fellow students. What I admire most about Jesus is that he is a fiercely loyal friend with a strong moral compass. Jesus has been accepted to the University of Pacific, where he is planning to obtain a bachelor's in dental hygiene and pursue his ultimate career as a dental hygienist. Congrats, Jesus. Keep on keeping the world on smiling brightly. Good evening. I'm Selena Munoz, proud principal of Rolling Hills, the best middle school ever. It's an honor to present Angel Garcia Gomez, who is an example of a top student who represents our school's core values, responsible, honorable, mature, safe, and he does this all with poise. He has proven to be a true champion and warrior as he continues to persevere through some challenges. Our staff is consistently impressed by his commitment to his education. He's always on top of his assignments and never wavers to ask how to make up for any mislearning. Angel is also a positive role model and a mentor to other students. He never hesitates to give a helping hand to those in need. Teachers can always count on his leadership. Congratulations, Angel. Greetings, everyone. Karen Lane. This evening, I am the enthusiastic and positive principal of Valencia Elementary School, and I want to say congratulations to all of these stellar Student of the Year recipients. It's my honor to tell you about Kira Ellison, Valencia's sixth grade Student of the Year. Kira is an inspirational, exemplary student and role model. She embodies a growth mindset and applies deep analysis and perspective around all aspects of life, including academics, sports, arts, friendship, human nature, and global citizenship. Kira is extremely well-rounded and excels in her endeavors, yet exudes humility and a thirst for knowledge. She is a member of Valencia's leadership team, a tutor for younger students, and Valencia's 2023 Spelling Bee champion. Kira placed in the team competition at the 2022 Santa Cruz County Math Contest, is a member of the Santa Cruz County Youth Choir, loves playing basketball, draws for fun, and reads over 3 million words in her spare time. 
Kara's driven yet calm and easygoing attitude toward excellence and living your best self is inspiring to children and adults. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor, Kira. Thank you. So we're going to take a tiny bit of a break because I completely forgot to have our representatives from McDonald's and the Baronian say a few words. So if you allow me, please. Do we have anyone here from McDonald's? Can you unmute if you do, if we do? Hi, John Labrie. Thank you, Mr. Labrie. Can you, thank you uh, for your patience and uh, go ahead. Sure, it's my pleasure. Uh, uh, good evening to Dr. Rodriguez and the board. My name is John Labrie. I'm the director of operations, representing the three McDonald's in Watsonville. Uh, you know, and it was really exciting to hear some of the students. I did read through some of the bios as well. It's very impressive. But we are we at McDonald's are very excited to partner with the Watsonville Pajaronian to support the Student of the Year program. Part of our culture in McDonald's is to support the educational goals of our employees and the students in the community. We are very impressed with the results you have achieved to be honored with this prestigious award. So congratulations to each of you. Keep up the excellent work. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, do we have anyone here from the Baharonian? No? Okay. Thank you. Now we will resume the wonderful presentation of our students. Good evening, my name is Megan Green and I'm the very proud principal of Rio Del Mar Elementary School. Tonight I have the honor and pleasure of presenting our student of the year, Brayden Vector. Brayden is a driven student who helps create a safe space for intellectual risk-taking. He, he is a perceptive individual with a keen interest in history, math, music, and scientific inquiry. His passion for reading makes him one of the top readers at Rio Del Mar with star test results of greater than 12.9 grade level equivalency. Many times he will ask his teacher and classmates if a word originated from Greek or Latin. He is a strong leader in science groups, eager to share his knowledge with others and learn new skills. Braden is also very receptive to feedback. As his teacher, Douglas Kyle wrote, Brayden is one of the most exceptional students I have encountered in my 37 years of teaching. He inspires me every day. Congratulations, Brayden. We hope that this honor fuels your ongoing desire to be a lifelong learner. Good evening. My name is Jennifer Ponzio, and I'm the principal at Virtual Academy. Um, we have three students to recognize this year as we are a K through 12 school. Um, the elementary student of the year is Isaac Sanchez. He is a fourth grade role model student. I would like to give a very special thank you to Isaac's parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sanchez, who serve as learning coach for him and play such an important role in his success. Um, Isaac always completes his assignments on time. He earns straight A's. He is caring. He always works to help others, demonstrates grit, courage, joy, and knowledge in daily learning sessions. He does not strive to be recognized. Instead, he focuses on the contributions he can make. Um, he is a model citizen, and I'm sure he will benefit our society with his qualities and achievements for many years to come. So congratulations, Isaac, and continue to shine. The Virtual Academy Middle School Student of the Year is Xavier Fields. He is a strong eighth grade student who's committed to completing his schoolwork as well as participating in extracurricular activities. He is a member of our school site council and ELAC. He attends VA's weekly book club and in his free time, he studies Taekwondo. On top of all of this, Xavier volunteers at a local business and walks dogs for elderly people. He is a great student and a pleasure to know. Behind Xavier is his mom, Mrs. Fields. She gives him unwavering support and encouragement. So congratulations, Xavier. You will go far in life. 
And our Virtual Academy High School Student of the Year is Alyssa Holmes. Um, Alyssa, this is so phenomenal. She joined our school as a junior with the goal of graduating a year early. Um, her teacher, Mr. Bielenberg, thought she might see the workload and change her mind. Um, she has proved herself in the first week um, that she entered Virtual Academy to be more than driven enough to accomplish her goal. All of her writing is well-researched. All of her presentations include authentic topics that she cares about. And Mr. Bielenberg and myself and the whole school community are blown away by how much she is learning every week. Um, and when he meets with her, or even when I join the weekly meetings and talk to her about her classes, she is a junior, but she will be graduating this year. So she is graduating a year early. Um, so correct. Congratulations, Alyssa. Continue to shine. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Drew Singleton, and I am very proud to be the principal of Pacific Coast Charter School. Um, we also have three since we are a K-12 school, so I will begin with our elementary student, um, Adelina Bach. She has excelled this year at Pacific Coast Charter School. She consistently brings curiosity and 100% effort to her school week, schoolwork. Adelina is an avid reader and is developing a confident voice as a writer. Her essays on topics in U.S. history demonstrate a depth of knowledge and critical analysis that is exceptional. She completed both fifth and sixth grade level math courses this year. Adelina also devotes time to extracurricular pursuits in music, art, sewing, cooking, environmental stewardship, stewardship and learning the language and culture of her family and heritage. Congratulations, Adelina. Next up, <clears throat> our middle school, we have Maverick Gonzalez. He has been chosen as our student of the year for middle school. I am proud to say that in the past two years, Maverick has shown a remarkable perseverance, resilience, and growth, both socially and academically. Every day, Maverick arrives at school ready to do his best. When Maverick first arrived at PCCS, he needed time to gain trust, to feel safe, and see that we are there to help him succeed. At first, he procrastinated endlessly and showed us how much he wasn't going to do his work. However, this year was different. Maverick showed up on day one with a can-do attitude. We are very proud of Maverick. He is a wonderful young man who is positive, funny, polite, and has a great sense of humor. It has been an honor to be a part of his life, and we are looking forward to seeing him achieve even more success in the future. Congratulations, Maverick. And last but not least, we have Jacob Laws. He is our high school student of the year. Jacob Laws has been a valued community member of PCCS from second to 12th grade. Jacob is exceptionally friendly and has been a great leader and collaborator with his fellow students. Jacob's passion lies in engineering, mechanics, and music. He has struggled with formal education from an early age, but realizes the importance of getting a good education and challenging himself to do well in school. <clears throat> As an elementary and middle school student, Jacob enthusiastically participated in every music, science, art, history, and engineering workshop that was offered. His vibrant curiosity and creative questions about how things work motivated him to take apart and build a variety of three-dimensional models and devices. Outside of school, he is involved in the Young Eagles program, volunteers for the Experimental Aircraft Association, and has been an active member of his church band for several years. Jacob has taken advantage of dual enrollment at Cabrillo College while at PCCS, and during his senior year has not only been keeping up with his schoolwork, but is also maintaining two jobs, one of which he hopes to turn into a future career as an aircraft mechanic. We are proud to have Jacob in our PCCS community. Congratulations to all of you. Good evening, my name is Rich Moran. I'm principal of Minty White Elementary, and it's my pleasure to recognize Miss Mariah Martinez, and I'll be doing so in the words of her teacher, Miss Canlis. The first word that comes to mind when I think of Mariah is light, because every time she walks into our classroom, she says hello or good morning, makes a silly face, or shares a random fact or story with me. She is a light on the darkest of days, and she cares so deeply about her family friends, and animals. One of the most admirable things about Mariah is that she acknowledges her mistakes and uses them as an opportunity to learn and grow. To know Mariah is to know joy, happiness, and perseverance. During the time we've had together, Mariah has grown tremendously in so many ways. 
there are not enough words to describe how deserving Mariah is of this award and recognition. She's dedicated to her learning, always trying to improve as a student and as a friend, and is such a deep, critical thinker. Mariah, thank you for all that you do and for being authentically you. You are such a bright light to me and those around you. It's such an honor to be your teacher. Mariah, you embody the values of Minty White Elementary, and on behalf of the students, staff, and administration, I want to congratulate you for being the Minty White Student of the Year. Good evening, PVUSD community. My name is Elaine Parker, and I am the principal of Ann Soldo Elementary. I'd like you to meet a beautiful girl, young lady with a beautiful name. This is Ada Maris. She is an all around all star student, always aiming to do her best. She participates in class and asks for help when needed. She demonstrates kindness and respect each day, getting along with everyone, whether it's working with a partner in class or playing a game during PE. She was elected by her peers to represent the class in the Ann Soldo Student Council. She attends meetings and shared, shares ideas about what the class is learning, participates in planning school-wide events, and reports back to her classmates. With hard work and diligence, she has achieved great success in reading and math. Her favorite memories from school, which she enjoys thinking about again and again, include her friends, her awesome teachers, and fun field trips, especially the field trip to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Her favorite subjects are reading and math. At home, where she loves to read and relax, she is supported by her 15-year-old sister and her mom and dad. In her future career, she feels inspired to be a mechanical engineer. Ada Maris is a shining example with a bright future ahead of her. It is with great pride that we honor her as our Anne Soldo Student of the Year. Thank you. Hello, I'm Samantha Legretta, and I'm the assistant principal at Watsonville Charter School of the Arts. We are a K-8 school, so I'm excited to announce our elementary student of the year, the, that being Hexel Rotana. Hexel is a fourth grade student at Watsonville Charter School of the Arts, where he began his WCSA journey as a kindergarten student. His teachers describe him as a hard worker, kind and friendly to all, one that doesn't give up even though learning is hard and takes care of those around him. Hexel definitely shows the chameleon spirit. Hexel's favorite thing about WCSA are art classes, math, and playing at recess with his friends. His dreams are to be fast, rich, and helpful so that he can donate all of his money to those that need it. He has learned valuable lessons at WCSA, and the one that he remembers the most is that if you are a bully, no one will want to be your friend. He goes out of his way to stand up for those that are being treated unfairly or unkindly, and we appreciate that about Hexel. One day in the future, Hexel would like to be a pediatrician and help children and babies get better. We are so proud of you, Hexel, and cannot wait to see you grow and thrive at WCSA. We also have a wonderful middle school student. We have many wonderful middle school students, but our student of the year is Jasmine Delgadillo. She's an eighth grade student at Watsonville Charter School of the Arts, where she began her WCSA journey as a kindergartner as well. Her teachers have described her as a hard worker, one that puts in extra effort no matter what, friendly, approachable, and exudes the chameleon spirit. Her favorite memories at WCSA were science camp, going to the aquarium as a younger student, the fall festivals and cultural day. Throughout her years at WCSA, she has learned that if you want to succeed in something, you must be dedicated and put in the hard work. At WCSA, she has learned to be a lifelong reader and writer. Next year, she will be attending Aptos High School, where she wants to continue her education towards one day being an author or attorney. Jasmine dreams of visiting France and Hawaii one day, and we want to wish her the best of luck on all of her future dreams. Aim for the stars, Jasmine. Your chameleon family will be cheering you on all the way. Good evening, all. I am Dr. Fernandez, and it is with great pride that I present to you Watamo High School Student of the Year. WHS is pleased to announce Cesar Rodriguez as Student of the Year. Cesar is described as determined, kind, and caring. He's impressively self-directed and works diligently inside and outside the classroom. Cesar is someone who is always eager to help. He has completed over 190 hours of community service in the past year and a half, and this is a remarkable achievement given the two years of the pandemic when students were out of league to quarantine and they were not able to complete community service. He aspires to become a counselor, and as a high school student, he already serves as an honorary counselor by serving as a peer mentor. 
Cesar possesses the perseverance to tackle any challenge with integrity. He understands the importance of staying committed to his goals, even when situations are challenging. Cesar has used his experience to serve as a peer mentor and has guided newcomers on ways they can develop positive outlets to express emotions as well as connected them to programs. Cesar's academic achievements combined with his dedication are an indicator of his potential to succeed in college and in life. It is an honor to have Cesar be Watsmo High School Student of the Year for 2023. Congratulations, Cesar. I am Consuelo Mason, principal at Pajaro Valley High School, and I'm honored tonight to present our Student of the Year. Carla Brianna Leva is an example of a top student who represents our school core values with poise. Despite personal loss during the COVID shutdown, she demonstrated exceptional resilience and emerged as a guiding force for her peers. Carla is known for advocating not only for herself, but for others, readily extending a helping hand to those in need. She exhibits a keen sense of justice, fearlessly questioning when there are instances of perceived injustice, be it with the school community or beyond. Her unwavering dedication to her academic pursuits consistently impress our faculty. We are proud of having Carla be Pajaro Valley High School Student of the Year for the class of 2023. Good evening. I'm the lucky principal who gets to introduce you to Anel Zamora Martinez. Anel is a dedicated, kind, and thoughtful student who continuously demonstrates what it means to be a Lakeview Eagle. Anel is a committed student. Not only is she responsible in her studies, she applies herself to her work. She will continue to ask questions until she fully understands the content. She approaches every task with rigor and an honest desire to learn. Anel always works to bring her classmates together to learn with her. Her kindness and generosity allow her to collaborate with any and all of her peers. While working with others, Anel shows leadership, thoughtfulness, and adv advocacy while exuding positive energy. She is always willing to lend help to those who are struggling. Anel's collaborative and tenacious spirit is not limited to academics. Anel has proved to be a valuable member of multiple athletic teams. Her hardworking nature allows her to continuously become a better athlete and teammate. Because Anel is a team player and natural leader, she's perfectly suited for her position as vice president of the leadership club. Anel is a kind-hearted, hardworking, and tenacious person who is well-respected by her peers and teachers. Her personality shines bright here at Lakeview. We're beyond proud to name Anel as Lakeview's Student of the Year. Well, good evening. Buenas tardes. Primero quiero decir felicidades y bien hecho a todos los estudiantes y sus familias. My name is Jackie Medina, the proud principal of Starlight Elementary School, and I get to share a little bit about our Student of the Year, Hema. Diaz. So each year, Starlight selects a student of the year based on academic achievement, effort, attendance, and overall standing within the school and the community. This year, we selected Hema among the list of outstanding students. Hema is an exceptional stu student. She was chosen primarily for her tenacious efforts with everything she does. When at home, Hema likes to play with her two dogs and board games with her family. Her family is extremely supportive and our staff thanks them for their efforts as well. We are so proud to be part of her remarkable achievements. Felicidades. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Ben Benavides, very proud principal of Cesar Chavez Middle School. And tonight it's an honor to recognize Flor Blanca Diaz as the Cesar Chavez Middle School Student of the Year. Floresita personifies our CCMS character strengths of heart, mind, and will. She is kind, honest, and grateful in class. She is curious, creative, and proactive. And at all times, she demonstrates self-control, grit, and purpose. 
Flora excels academically at CCMS and is one of the valedictorians for the class of 2023. Our teachers have noticed her work ethic. When notified of her award, one of Flora's sixth grade teachers commented, she was a standout student during distance learning. She participated every day in the lessons with her camera on at all times. Her leadership in breakout rooms and whole class lessons positively impacted the culture of our class in a time when that was one of the things that was needed most. Her art teacher wrote, Floricita has always stepped up during the most challenging times in distance learning and in person. She has done excellent work participating in advisory class and in the advanced art class, going beyond what is required and taking every opportunity to learn. She has even come to help paint our mural on Saturdays. Flora would like to thank her mom and dad, Flor and Oswaldo, and her five brothers and sisters, Bianca, Darian, Hermes, Emilio, and Hema, for their support and love. And yes, that is, the Hema is also one of our students of the year. So congratulations to Flor and her family. Good evening. I'm Susan Grolte. I'm the principal of New School Community Day School. Our student of the year is Saida Chavez Serrano. Serrano. She was born in Watsonville and came to New School after attending many different schools in our PVUSD system. She is an absolute joy to have every day on campus. She comes in with a smile on her face and a willingness to learn and inspire other students. She, every day, she is there, ready to get to the next level, and she has done that. She has gotten to the point of graduation, She's and it has been just an ultimate joy to work with her over the last three or six months. She is very in tune with other students' feelings. She has emotional intelligence that outweighs most people I know. I am so proud of what Saida has done in the time that she has been with us at New School and the growing she's going to do. I know that Saida will do whatever she puts her mind to because I've seen that this year. And she is going to be an incredible asset to our country. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am Gina Elisaldi, the principal at Ohlone Elementary School. And I am here tonight to introduce you to our student of the year, Mia Elise Doubledy. Mia has been an Ohlone Otter since kindergarten. She will most often be spotted on campus with a huge smile on her face and several friends by her side. She embodies the Ohlone Otter spirit with a positive attitude as she is always willing to give her best effort. She's demonstrated responsibility with her almost perfect attendance and her dedication to her schoolwork. She's quick to volunteer when help is needed and is respectful to all students and staff. She has read well over 2 million words this school year and was our representative to the Santa Cruz County Spelling Bee. We are very proud of Mia Double D. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mia Leroux. As principal of Aptos Junior High School, I am very proud tonight to present Giselle Opiana, our student of the year. Giselle is a stellar student, a talented volleyball player, community role model and friend who has consistently made not only our school a better place this year, but who has worked to help our entire community. Through leadership class, Giselle has worked as a natural team leader to run our lunchtime activities like very exciting karaoke day that included students from all social groups and abilities because she always makes sure to leave spots for our special needs students and our incoming seventh graders and makes them all feel included. Giselle helped educate our campus about Filipino Heritage Month during our morning announcements. She also helped plan Leadership's Club Day where students could learn about different clubs on campus and get connected to a campus community. She helped lead two different fundraisers this year on campus one was to help raise money and awareness for breast cancer research, and the other one was where she led our campus food drive, the fundraiser for Second Harvest Food Bank. Giselle is also a student athlete on the volleyball team. Um, in the after-school program, Giselle also eagerly sought out community initiatives, and one was where she baked cookies for a homeless shelter. 
She made Valentine's Day cards for some seniors that lived in a nearby nursing home. And she helped to create a free mini library for the Jacobs Heart Charity. Her kind heart, her inclusive spirit, her willingness to step up and contribute to this, basically all contribute to the positive and safe and respectful campus community that we aspire to at Aptos Junior. So thank you, Giselle, and congratulations. Good evening. My name is Veronica Aguilar. Hello, can somebody hear me? Yes, you're good. Okay, sorry, Dr. Rodriguez, my screen is frozen. Hi, good evening. My name is Veronica Aguilar, proud principal of the Armadillos at Alianza Charter School. It is really a pleasure to introduce you to Rosalind Claire Garcia. I'm not only her principal, but her teacher this year. Alianza Charter School would like to introduce you to our Armadillo of the Year and future president, and I mean it, she's a powerhouse of the United States of America, Rosalind Claire Garcia, polite, conscious, conscientious, hardworking, friend to all, are just a few ways we can describe her. She has been part of the Alianza community since kindergarten. She's an exemplary student that embraces our leadership code of conduct. She is respectful, makes good decisions, and solves problems. Academically, Rosalind always gives 110%. She is concerned not only about completing her work on time, but also makes sure she firmly understands what she is learning. She actively participates in each class with enthusiasm and is also willing to collaborate with her classmates. We can always depend on her to be on task, follow directions, and be eager to learn. Rosalind always undertakes leadership roles at Alianza, such as being our junior coach. She is wise beyond her years and a mature leader who advocates not only for herself, but also her peers. It is not uncommon to see her stand up for what is right. She is eloquent in expressing her thoughts and is also a talented writer. Rosalind would be a success be successful in whatever challenges she meets because of her willingness to work hard, her responsibility and her strong character. She is a pleasure to have in our classes and we are proud to select her as our Armadillo Student of the Year. Congratulations, Rosalind. Now our elementary student of the year, Mateo Jimenez Lopez. It is my great pleasure to announce that Mateo Jimenez Lopez has been selected as the elementary student of the year at Alianza Charter School. He is well deserving of such honor for many reasons. Mateo is kind, friendly and hardworking student. He applies himself to put his best effort forward. He is an outstanding Alianza Armadillo who is able to read, write and communicate with ease in both Spanish and English. He comes to class every day with a big smile on his face and with a willingness to get involved in all the classroom activities. Although he is a very, he is very quick to grasp new academic concepts, he is too humble to not stand out and instead is always eager to help peers reach their academic potential. He's a very responsible and dedicated student who loves school and all subject matters, especially science and math. His kindness and, and passion for social justice is evident when he speaks up for those who do not have a voice. Peers view him as a problem solver and peacekeeper. Most of all, he has excellent academically, excelled academically so much that he has already reached his academic goals this year. Congratulations, Mateo, on your well-deserved recognition. Hello, my name is Andrew Donnelly Crocker, and I'm the proud principal at Bradley Elementary School. I'm here tonight because I am excited to announce Samuel A. Gordo as our student of the year. Sam is an outstanding and hardworking student, as well as a caring and loyal friend. Sam is the son of proud parents, Sherry Sherishi and Enaro Gordo and the supportive brother to his three younger siblings, Santiago, Stephen, and Sophia. Sam's favorite subjects include math and PE, and when he's not in school, he enjoys spending time with his family. 
Sam's goal for the future is to study engineering at Stanford University. It has been a pleasure to have Sam here at Bradley Elementary, and we cannot wait to see what his bright future holds. Go Bears and go Sam. Hi, my name is Erin Legretta, and I am the principal at H.A. Hyde Elementary School. And it is my honor to present Erica Peruskia Sandoval as the H.A. Hyde Student of the Year. Erica has been a student at Hyde and part of our dual language program since kindergarten. She enjoys being a part of our dual language program because it keeps her connected to her culture and community. In her free time, she enjoys reading graphic novels and playing basketball. After high school, Erica plans to attend college in San Diego where she will study to be a lawyer. Congratulations, Erica. We are so proud of you. Hall District, you are muted. I'm sorry. I must have hit the button twice in Los Santo. <laughs> Good evening. I am proud to be serving as the interim principal at Hall District this year. Um, I am Denise Pips Craig, and this is Daniela A. Zamora. Daniela Zamora is a hardworking student with a history of involving herself in school activities such as student leadership and the Playworks Junior Coach Program. Daniela takes school seriously and puts her best effort forward. Daniela is well-organized. She arrives ready to learn. She always gives her assignments a critical eye so she can turn in her best work. She is always looking to improve. In the classroom, Daniela listens carefully, both to teachers and classmates, responding with a thought and kindness. Students trust her and listen to what she has to say. Daniela enjoys learning with focus, effort, and hard work. She sets an example of persistence for her classmates. She helps her fellow students in any way she can. Her positive influence has an obvious effect on the students who model her effort and behavior. Congratulations, Daniela. You may be muted, Rebecca. Ms. Milberg. Good, good evening, PBUSD community and uh, families. I'm the proud principal of McQuitty Elementary. It is my pleasure to present our student of the year, Ian Cordero. Ian has been at McQuitty Elementary since kindergarten. He is a great example of a Mustang. He is honest and true to himself. He is quick to admit when he makes a mistake and when he makes one, he figures out what to do next and how to prevent it in the future. Ian shows effort in everything he does. He has nearly perfect attendance and 100% co completion on all of his assignments. This has really helped him to improve his math and reading levels to above grade level. He shows respect for himself his peers, his teachers, and his school. He stays away from conflicts that might distract him from his learning, and he was always willing to help us out to make our school a better place. He makes great decisions, and through his diligent work, he is prepared to become a great decision maker in our community and in our world. We are proud to send our McQuitty Mustang into the future and watch him grow and make a difference in the world. Thank you for all you have done for our school, Ian, and congratulations. All right, good evening, PBUSD community. I am Todd Westfall, proud principal of Calabasas Elementary, and I am super honored to present Ramon Guerrero Zunaga, our student of the year. Ramon is an honor roll student who has attended Calabasas since preschool. He is self-motivated and inquisitive. He is a positive and encouraging leader who can be found helping his classmates with their writing and math. In math, he scores at an 11th grade level on the district maps assessment. His reading's not far behind and he excels athletically and will represent Calabasas at the international games this year. He enjoys sports, especially basketball. While balancing his studies and maintaining a high GPA, 
He helped his seventh and eighth grade basketball team, which is a level above his peers, win a championship in the Youth 831 League. With encouragement and support from his family, Ramon has excelled at Calabasas and is sure to continue succeeding in the future. Ramon plans to eventually study at the university level and hopes to be an architect or an electrician. The entire Calabasas community is very proud of you, Ramon. Good evening. I'm Jack Reed. I am the principal of Renaissance High School, and it is my privilege and honor to present to everyone Damien Fergoso Ortiz as our student of the year. Damien is known for being respectful and friendly. When asked how he was when he first came to Renaissance, Damien said he was scared that he would not graduate. He enrolled during his sophomore year and it did not know what to expect. He soon discovered that teachers like Mr. Snyder, Mr. Webb, and Mr. Drury helped make the difference. They would not let him fail. As a result, Damien is on course to graduate and says he would like to go to Hartnell College. A fond memory of his time at the school was when he planted a tree with Mr. Drury. Damien demonstrates his resilience and success that students are able to achieve at Renaissance. We are so very proud to name Damien Fergoso Ortiz as Renaissance Student of the Year. Muy buenas noches, mi nombre es Juan Alcántar y es un honor y placer ser el director de, nuestro, de la Escuela de Pájaro. Um, my pleasure to represent our Student of the Year. Jimena Chavez Guzman is an amazing young lady that encapsulates all the qualities of what it is to be a Pajaro Panther. She is one that leads by example and is highly respected by her peers and staff. Jimena excels in the classroom, earning high marks in all subject areas, while also playing multiple sports and being part of our school leadership. She is the activity coordinator for our school leadership team and develops and leads many activities for all our students. She is a very positive individual who is constantly smiling and likes to help others. Jimena is very proud to be a Pajaro Panther and demonstrates that through her school spirit. She can be seen at games, cheering on her teammates, fellow athletes, and all other students during school activities. Jimena has the goal of attending college where she would like to pursue a degree in medicine or criminal justice. She wants to be able to one day contribute to her family by providing them with the home that she feels they deserve. As you can tell, Jimena Chavez Guzman is a well-rounded individual that provides our campus with joy and positivity while having a caring heart and respect for others. Jimena, it is a pleasure to have you as our student. Thank you so much for all that you do and for being such a great role model to all. We are very proud of you. Felicidades, Jimena, a ti a tu familia. Good evening, I'm Dr. Nancy Bilicic, um, Director of Watsonville Aptos Santa Cruz Adult Education. And it's my honor and privilege to present to you tonight, Sandra Jose. Sandra is an excellent student. She's always helping her classmates. Her generosity and helpfulness and humility extend far beyond the classroom. She and her group of seven women have been a huge blessing to the community of Pajaro. Since the day the community of Pajaro was evacuated due to the floods, Sandra and her group of ladies have been there every single day cooking and feeding the families of Pajaro out of their own pockets. Rain or shine, Sandra and these amazing women have gone above and beyond to make sure that every single person has had a warm meal. Sandra has a heart of gold. And with all of this, continues to come to her ESL classes every day. We are very proud of her, and we thank you, Sandra, and congratulate you. Hello and good evening. Muy buenas uh, tardes. Uh, I am Roberto Torres, principal of Landmark Elementary, and it's an honor to present our student of the year, Hannah. 
So Hannah Guzman Lopez exemplifies the qualities that we want to see present in all of our students that inspire an inclusive and safe learning environment. This year, we are proud to present Hannah Guzman Lopez with Landmark Student of the Year Award. Hannah easily stands out at giving, giving her natural willingness to improve and grow as a student. No task is too big nor too small. Hannah stays true to her character and embraces each opportunity with the same level of rigor and enthusiasm. Hannah's curiosity is truly like the that of a bottomless well, beginning to fill, uh, to be filled with new knowledge and skills. Every once in a while, we are so fortunate to be in the presence of such a magnificent student like Hannah. Hannah truly embodies the spirit of landmark dragonflies. Good evening, I am Carlos Moran, principal at Amesti Elementary School. Our student of the year is Elizabeth Moreno. Elizabeth excels in anything she sets her mind to. She is a very determined student. Elizabeth takes responsibility in setting and achieving her own goals. It is truly amazing to watch Elizabeth solve complicated math problems and puzzles. She really has a mind for numbers. In class, she is willing to help others when they are struggling. She tries new things and is constantly challenging herself to do better. We are all impressed with her overall academic ability and personal integrity. Buenas tardes, soy el director uh, Dago García de la escuela de EA Hall. Primero que nada, muchas gracias a los padres por mandarnos un estudiante tan bien educado como Milton. Uh, Milton is a young man of singular character, uh, contributing to conversations and owning this, his learning. Milton's character shines through the, his treatment of others, staff, and himself. He regularly plays sports at our school and even does workouts during his breaks, using his time to the fullest. Milton does not follow the crowd but takes the road less traveled, and he has built him into an amazing young man. He does very well in the classroom and gets along with everybody. In this world, that is not e an easy thing to do. Milton has won Lit, Lit Ninja Student of the Quarter and Athletic Awards. Milton Quayers exemplifies the fullest hopes and dreams that EL, EA Hall has for his students. Milton's pursuit of higher things has him admired by all. Milton is our role model and he's only 13. He somehow has the wisdom of someone three times his age, has always presented his authentic self and confident in who he is, yet he's still very humble and curious. He has a strong work ethic and understands the value of work. All around, he's an inspiration to teachers and students. Overall, Milton is seen by both adults and students as somebody who is mature, cordial, and above all, a wonderful human being. Muy buenas tardes, mi nombre es Gerardo Morales y tengo el gran honor de ser el director de la Escuela Freedom. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Gerardo Morales and I am honored to be the principal of Freedom Elementary and I'm blessed to be able to announce this year's Freedom Dolphin Student of the Year, Jimena Navarro. Jimena is an amazing, well-rounded student. She is persevering and a hard worker. Jimena has pushed herself all year to succeed in mathematics, science, social science, English language development, and Spanish language arts. She is an avid reader with over 3 million words read by April 2023. However, Jimena not only exceptional in her academic output, she's also a good friend to others and is always willing to help friends, teachers, and other staff. She comes from a hardworking and very involved family. May she continue to shine as she grows. Jimena Navarro. Good evening, buenas tardes. I am Allison Hank Sloan. I am a proud principal and who is uh, also happy to be a Mariner principal. So it's a great day to be a Mariner principal. I am pleased to announce to you our student of the year, which is Elizabeth Garcia Velasquez. Elizabeth is incredibly humble. When I let her know that she was our recipient of this award, she shared with me that when she was seven years old at Starlight Elementary School in second grade, she came home crying one evening because all of her friends uh, exited out of the English language learner program. And she went home, she cried. She told the story of how she watched El Chavo de la Leche. And when she finished the show, she said, she turned to her mom and she said, mom, I'm going to do better. And she was determined. And sure enough, the next year she studied her English so much that she earned the reclassification in both the languages. She has earned a bilingual award. 
She went on in fifth grade to be student of the year, and she has also received some of the highest scores you can get in AP, uh, both English and Spanish classes. In fifth grade, Elizabeth Garcia Velasquez organized the weekly conferences with students and the Starlight Elementary School principal. Years later, she is a student leader in ASB at Aptos. She's created the Pearl Club to empower teens about self-value, healthy relationships, and finding their voice. She contributed to the Jovenes Sanos Photo Voice Project in collaboration with UC Santa Cruz to explore where people in our Watsonville community felt they belonged. Elizabeth has earned a 4.4 grade point average while taking honors classes and working at Manuel's. Next year, she joins the Cabrillo Honors Program, and she will pursue international business and dance. Stay tuned for all the great things she has ahead of her. Congrats, Elizabeth. Felicidades. Thank you to all principals, and congratulations to all students again. So we're going to go, um, we're going to stop sharing this presentation because now we're going to move on to the um, to the student banners presentation. So I'm going to ask all high school student uh, principals to be ready. And uh, I'm going to start the, the sh- uh, slideshow with you right now. Alicia, real quick, do we have any questions or comments from the board? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Can you see the presentation? Thank you. Okay, so we're going to be showcasing 32 students who are going to, uh, representing their high school. And for your information, these banners will go up on Friday, May 26th at 10 a.m. in front of Cabrillo College and Digital Nest. So here is, um, so this is uh, just a rendering of what uh, what it looks like. If you have been downtown, you you must have seen these this past couple of years. We're very proud that we are able to continue this project with the city of Watsonville. So here we go. Go ahead. Good evening again, everybody. This is Drew Singleton again from Pacific Coast Charter School. Um, Our first student that will be honored on the banner this year is our graduate, Ozma Zara. She began with PVUSD at H.A. Hyde Elementary and then moved on to Cesar Chavez Middle School before coming to us at Pacific Coast. And she is planning on going to Sacramento State after she graduates. Um, Our second banner recipient is Luna Gaetan Candelario. Um, She began also at H.A. Hyde Elementary, um, went to Cesar Chavez Middle School before arriving with us again at Pacific Coast Charter. Um, And she is planning on attending Monterey Peninsula College after graduation, after um, graduation. So congratulations to both of you. Ms. Mason, it's uh, your turn, thanks. Thank you, Alicia, for the reminder. Good evening, buenas noches. Um, soy la directora de Pajaro Valley High School. I'm the principal at Pajaro Valley High School, and I'm going to start with Alexa Falcón Vizcarra. She be- began her educational journey at Freedom School, Rolling Hills Middle School, Pajaro Valley High, and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Congratulations, Alexa. Then we have Alejandra Lopez Garcia, began her educational journey at MSD Elementary, Lakeview Middle School. Pajaro Valley High School and UC Davis. Yay! Congratulations. Juliana Estrada Castillo began her educational journey at Freedom Elementary, Rolling Hills Middle School, Go Bobcats, Pajaro Valley High, and UC Berkeley. Congratulations, Juliana. Jade Masariegos Munoz began her educational journey at Freedom Elementary, Rolling Hills Middle School, Pajaro Valley High School, and UC Davis. Yay, she's gonna have a friend. (laughs) And we have Aramis Diaz began his educational journey at Starlight Elementary, Cesar Chavez, Pajaro Valley High School, and Cabrillo College, yes. Congratulations. And now Melanie Anaí Tolentino Mosqueda began her journey at H.A. High Elementary, 
Cesar Chavez Middle School, Pajaro Valley High School, and UC San Diego. Congratulations, Melanie. We have Brandon Ulises Romero. He began his educational journey at Freedom Elementary, Rolling Hills Middle School, Pajaro Valley High School, and UC Davis. We are so proud of you, Grizzlies. We, oh my goodness, did I just? You're good. You're good. Sorry about that. Um, we have Saida Chavez. She started at Hall Elementary, went to Pajaro Middle School, Watsonville High New School, and she's going to Cabrillo College. Congratulations, Saida. Next, we have Emmanuel Luna. He went to Amesti Elementary. Freedom Elementary, Rolling Hills Middle School, Watsonville High New School, and will be ending his going on to his journey with Cabrillo College. BTI, are you here? Sorry. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be presenting um, our banner recipients. Our first is Luz Moctezuma, who started her journey with Minty White Elementary and then moved on to EA Hall Middle School and then ended up in D Diamond Tech. And then she is moving on to the University of Pacific um, to study um, dental hygienist. And then Gabby Rodriguez uh, started out at Ansoldo Elementary and then moved on to Lakeview Middle and then Diamond Tech and then Cabrillo College to study fire science. So congratulations to our white tigers. Good evening, all. Again, I'm Dr. Fernandez, proud principal at Watsonville High School. So our first student here is Samantha Miranda Rico. She started her educational journey at Landma Landmark Elementary, Watsonville High School, of course, and plans on attending Cabrillo College. Our next student is Salvador Fuentes Villalobos, who started at Minty White Elementary, followed by EA Hall Middle, Watsonville High School, and also plans on attending Cabrillo College. We have Brooklyn Jamas, who started her educational journey at Ansoldo Elementary, followed by Lakeview Middle School, Watsonville High School, and plans on attending Cabrillo College. Nayeli Martinez started at Hall District Elementary, followed by Pajaro Middle, Watsonville High School, and also plans on attending Cabrillo College. We have Arad Fernandez from Moreland Notre Dame. Watsonville High School and plans on attending UC Davis. Tanya Mata started at Minty White Elementary, EA Hall Middle School, Watsonville High School, and plan plans on attending Loyola Marymount. Edita Juarez, Minty White Elementary, EA Hall Middle, Watsonville High School, and plans on attending UC Davis. Last but not least, we have Morel Mamaril, who has attended Ansoldo Elementary, Lakeview Middle, Watsonville High School, and plans on attending Cornell University. Congratulations to all of our Wildcats. It is my honor as principal of Renaissance High School to uh, introduce our uh, banners um, recipients. Uh, the first one is Joanna Rodriguez Plata. And her journey in the uh, Pajaro Valley uh, School District began at Ansoldo Elementary, uh, Lakeview Middle, uh, Watsonville High, Pajaro Valley High, then coming to Renaissance High, and now attending or, or wanting to attend uh, Cabrillo College. Congratulations, Joanna. Our next uh, recipient was uh, Arturo Lomeli Flores. He, uh, he started his journey at Ohlone Elementary, 
then going to Pajaro Middle School, then attending Watsonville High School, coming to us at Renaissance High School, and he also will be going to uh, Cabrillo College. Again, congratulations, Arturo. Good evening, great to see you again. Um, I'm Jennifer Ponzio, Principal of Virtual Academy. I'm excited to present the student banner to our senior, Diamond Ibarra Zamora. Uh, she began her journey in PVUSD at Amesti Elementary, then Lakeview Middle. She was a student at Paro Valley High School. She transferred to Virtual Academy, and now she is off to Arizona State University in the fall. We are so proud of you, Diamond. Good evening. It is uh, my pleasure to introduce to you uh, Ren Kermode, who attended Mountain View Schools, uh, Monteloma Elementary, Crittenden Middle, and Alta Vista uh, uh, High before she came to Watsonville Aptos um, Santa Cruz Adult Education. After graduation, Ren looks forward to attending Cabrillo College. Congratulations. Hola otra vez, soy la directora de Aptas High School, doctora AHS, I'm Dr. Hank Sloan, Dr. AHS. I'm proud to share with you um, some of our seniors. Jackson Miller started at Bradley Elementary, went to Aptos Junior High, now at Aptos and going on to Chico State University. Michael G. Rousseau II started at Rio Del Mar Elementary, Aptos Junior High, now here at Aptos and going on to San Diego Mesa Community College. Hannah um, Reyes Alcarez at Marvis Elementary, Aptos Junior High School, now here at Aptos and going on to Cabrillo. Tosh Woods started at Marvis Elementary, Aptos Junior High, Aptos High, and now going on to Cuesta College. Charlotte Ramirez started at the Watsonville Charter School of the Arts, now here at Aptos High and going on to Cal Poly Pomona. And Yvonne Solorio Martinez, Valencia Elementary, Aptos Junior High, here at Aptos and going on to Hartnell College. And Caitlin Murray started at Bradley Elementary, Aptos Junior High, Aptos High, and She's got a couple choices and is yet to be determined. So stay tuned. Congratulations, Aptos Mariners. Thank you so much. That is the end of it. And I have to say something. It's my favorite meeting of the Board of Trustees for the last 22 years. And I just want to say that I really enjoyed watching our elementary principals and our middle school principals as they call students that they've seen in the past. Thank you for being a part of their history. And thank you for being here today. President Holm. Thank you. Do we have any further questions or comments from the board? All right, well, thank you everyone for your participation and support of our students. Again, students, I am so very proud of what you have accomplished and. Again, look forward to seeing what you uh, write next in the chapters of your stories. And with uh, our next regular board meeting is scheduled for April 26th uh, next week in person in the district board meeting. And with that, this meeting is adjourned. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night.